Hey, what is up YouTube fam? It's Ben here back with another video. As always, we got new content here every Wednesday and Sunday. So please feel free to subscribe if you'd like to continue growing our practices together and let me know in the comments what kind of classes or breakdowns that you wanna see on this channel. So today I'm excited because I'm gonna be letting you know my favorite wrist stretches, breaking them down and going through them so that you can carry on with your yoga practice with healthy wrists, ready to bear weight and ready to continue growing in your journey so I'm gonna start out just in a seated position but these can be done while you're standing up they can be done while you're walking around town really anything that you're doing you can just implement these real quick starting off with just a simple wrist massage I love to grab my thumb or whatever I feel like is the strongest finger on that hand and rub through the joints of the opposite wrist so I like to get this crevice right here at the wrist joint between the palm and the forearm just rubbing around there noticing what feels tender noticing what feels sore and just giving it a little bit of love same thing on the other side i like getting into the top of the wrist joint right at the bottom of the forearm at the top of the hand where the wrist bends and really just getting in there to all the little crevices you can even massage the palm and that really i find loosens up the joints it loosens up all those little muscles and can just really provide some nice stress relief there next i like to bring my hands together and come into a prayer position but almost an exaggerated prayer position finding lift in my elbows from there i drive my hands into each other fingertips into fingertips, palm into palm, and I squeeze, and that gives me a nice wrist stretch. From there, I draw my elbows down toward each other, and then back up. And so my elbows are kind of just flapping like butterfly wings, but what that does is it gives a different angle of flexion and extension in the wrists as I move up and down. So it just creates some nice space and strengthening there the whole time I'm pressing in toward each other. Next, similarly, I like to bring the backs of the hands together. And similar to the other one, we'll move dynamically here. And I really like just waving it forward and back. So almost completing a little loop in my wrist. And it's for the same reason. It provides different angles of flexion and extension. And it just gets into slightly different muscles, tendons, and nerves. Um, as you switch the direction and go into different places. So just explore that. And for all of these, it's all about just noticing where it feels good for you, where you might be reaching points of tension and pain and seeing where you can work around that and create a little bit more mobility. So similar, I like to bend one wrist so that the back of the hand is facing forward and then press the opposite hand into it. And this is one where you could just press down and it creates a nice stretch and opening on the top of the wrist. So getting that into both hands Another great one is simply clasping the hands together, rolling the wrists around, pressing each hand and knuckle into the other set of knuckles and seeing where you might find some snaps, crackles, and pops and seeing if you can work into that, almost providing some lubrication here as we just roll around in a figure eight shape. Another one, which is more of a wrist strengthener is to simply extend the hands and start flashing the palms. And this one, you might not feel anything for the first few seconds, but I promise if you keep doing this for 20, 30, 40 seconds, your wrists and forearms will start to fire up. Even the muscles in your fingers will start to fire up and become active. And so after we're doing this for a little bit, we really are just finding some strength so that we're able to hold us up in some of those more challenging shapes. And the last one I'll give just in this still seated position is to reach the hands out like you're holding a couple trays and then just find little circles in the wrists. So this is actually the biggest range of motion that I can find for this in my wrist. It's a very challenging movement. It's one just like the last one that's not as much of a stretch, more of a strengthener here. And we can switch directions and rotate in the other way. Really great for mobility, really great for articulating some rotation in the wrist joint and creating new space. So with that being said, I'm gonna sw switch gears and get into my tabletop position. Now, if y'all take my classes, you know I like to bring these into almost every one of my classes. And the first stretch here is to turn the hands back. Fingertips will face the knees. And once you're in that position, you can rock forward and back. You can take some circles, clockwise, counterclockwise. And if this feels intense for you, a couple of variations are to simply go one hand at a time. And when you're going one hand at a time, most of the weight is in the regular hand and maybe just 20% of the weight or so is in the flipped palm so that we can just use the opportunity to explore, not to necessarily dump weight down. Another variation is to 
point the fingertips more so out to the sides rather than straight back. That's just decreasing the change in angle and it's just a little bit less intense on the wrists. So another one from this tabletop position is to flip one hand at a time so that the back of the hand presses down into the mat. From there, you can bunch up the fingertips and expand, or you can keep it in that fist and just press different parts of the hand and wrist into the mat. So again here, probably 75 to 80% of the weight is in the regular hand, and then 20 to 25% of the weight, maybe even less, is in the flipped hand as I just explore the sensations there. So those are my two favorite ones from table. One that I like from an upright kneeling position is sort of an upright cat cow. This is not only a wrist stretch, but also nice on the arms and shoulders. So clasp the hands together, push the arms away around the spine as you push forward, lift the hands overhead. And we're just sort of moving between these two shapes. We're pushing and then we're lifting. So opening up the wrists and the shoulders. And I like to do this with my breath. So as I exhale, I push away and round. As I inhale, I open through the chest and lift the arms overhead. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. And that's just nice to open up the chest, arms, as well as the wrists. And it's always nice to be able to integrate our breath with our movements to build a little bit more mindfulness around what I'm doing. Another stretch that I like on the wrist that also doubles as a really beautiful hamstring stretch is Gorilla Pose Pada Hastasana. And we accomplish this by sliding the palms underneath the feet, bend your knees as much as you need to in order to do that. Maybe even bend your knees enough so that your belly gets closer to your thighs. And from there we wanna bring our toes all the way to that wrist crease. And the way we can protect our wrists here is if you'll notice, I'm not putting all my weight in my, in my toes. Actually, the majority of my weight is in my heels, so it's not really pressing down on the hands. But then I can use my toes to just give myself a little wrist massage, finding a nice point here where I'm able to just find a nice shape of my body that feels good in so many different levels. If you'd like to, from here you can take it a step further by rocking the weight forward and back. Be sure to be very mindful and careful here, even in the shoulders, to make sure that we're not overextending or we're not leaning so much that we're gonna fall on our face forward. We wanna just gently shift the weight forward and back. And the more we sh shift the weight forward, the more weight we're gonna put into the wrists and find a deeper stretch there. So. There you have it, y'all. We just ran through a bunch of great wrist stretch wrist stretches, excuse me, and one more that I'll add, if you have a pull-up bar or some rings that you can hang somewhere around your house, grabbing onto the pull-up bar or onto some rings and simply hanging is such a great wrist stretch and that's something that's helped me so much. By hanging down, you're lengthening all these muscles in the wrists and forearms and allowing everything to just elongate and sort of release some of that tension that builds up from being in these same motions all day, especially if you're doing a lot of typing, a lot of texting, it's really good to lengthen out those joints. So with that, I will leave you with the video. Make sure you practice at least one or two of those each time you're doing a yoga sequence because when we're in all these high planks, down dogs, maybe even crow pose, so many shapes where we're putting and dumping weight into the wrists, we want to make sure that they're ready to support some of that weight and then we can avoid injuries like tendonitis, uh, etc. So I hope you found this useful. Let me know in the comments what you think and what else you want to see, what questions you have, what you want me to break down and what you want me to include in my classes because I am here for you and I can't wait to continue growing on our journey. So with that being said, I will see you soon. Have a blessed rest of your day. Peace and love.